Joining us now, we have a big group. Uh, and it, 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 we're very honored to have uh, Dr. Chung Min Wang, um, Professor Niels de Jong, and Dr. Francis M. Ross. Thank you for being here, the three of you, and congratulations are in order. Uh, you have won the 2016 MRS um, Innovation in Materials Characterization Award. So congratulations Thank you. to the three of you. Well yeah. deserved, well deserved. I'm going to quickly just begin this by uh, reading the award citation and then have you speak about it. Um, quote, for seminal contributions to the imaging of specimens and liquids using transmission electron microscopy, revolutionizing the direct observation of material processes, batteries during operation, and biological structures. There's a lot there that I just said. Can you, can you speak uh, about the work that led to this? Sure, I, I can Francis, start. Francis, you want to start? So, um, ever since the electron microscope was developed in the um, 40s, 50s, 60s, people have wanted to use the power of the microscope not just to look at solid materials, but liquid ones. And unfortunately, it's, it's quite hard to put liquids in the microscope, um, especially water, because inside the microscope is a high vacuum and the water will just evaporate away. So um, you need to uh, develop some kind of techniques for enclosing the liquid, controlling its pressure, making sure it has a geometry that's suitable for doing microscopy, like a thin layer. Okay. So once you have those techniques um, developed, you can then start to apply them. You can take a uh, modern electron microscope with its very good spatial temporal resolution, its ability to do analytical measurements, and apply it to samples that are based on water or other liquids to look at these different kinds of processes. Wonderful, right, wonderful. So. No, no, go ahead. May, so, so, yes, uh, please. Also, I started the same, 2005 it is, mm -hmm. but at that time the electron microscopy field was really pushing very hard in the high resolution area. Mm -hmm. Then I was thinking, so what, what is beyond? Eh? Because at that time I was starting my career, and then I thought, well, I would really like to go beyond looking at high resolution only, but really looking at uh, yeah, materials and cells in, in a, not in a vacuum environment, but more in a realistic environment. Mm -hmm. So that triggered my, uh, my thing to say, well, let's do something that's not present yet, but mm -hmm. let's look sure. at the at, at head in the future. Got that's it, right. got it. Yep. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes. Um, I wanted to ask, let, let, let's let's go here, I want to talk about the, the discussion that you guys just had here at the spring meeting. It was uh, titled the Transmission Electron Microscopy of Specimens and Processes in Liquid. And Dr. Wang, let me start with you about, about uh, in the talk you guys noted that the, the electron microscopy of liquids uh, that you believe has the potential to solve grand challenges in physics and materials, sciences and biology. What are some of those those grand challenges. Right, I think we are talking about imaging the liquid or real time about mm. this kind of real world uh, chemical reactions or something. For example, I give you a very, very spe specific example, like a battery, uh, lithium batteries. Yeah. You got liquid in there. So the, during the battery function, and then some happen with a solid liquid interface. So really need to image what's going on within the battery, and then to find out what the battery feeding, and eventually failure. That's one current trolling, for example. It's very specific, actually. Yes. Sure. Uh, it's ju just one example. We have mm -hmm. other examples as well, actually. Uh, yeah. Which, which uh, uh, professor? What are the examples in uh, in um, material science and biology? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe I say something Go about ahead, biology. Please. So, my, my research interest is really in uh, looking what proteins are doing in whole cells. Mm -hmm. That sounds maybe trivial, but they're really not. So there's really gap of analytical techniques where you can see what proteins are doing in whole cells. Mm -hmm. So that's my, my interest. And there I hope to, uh, to study uh, in the area of cancer, to study the aspect of cancer cell heterogeneity. And so with uh, the existing methods, you always get information about the population averages. But now, for example, small kind of groups of cells may do something different, like stem cells. And we need to look at those individual cells at the, really at the level of the individual proteins to see, for example, uh, how can we improve the medication. So that's that's my uh, motivation. Or Wonderful, terms. exemplary. And and Dr. Yeah, Francis, in, Dr. Ross. Uh, I think that in material science there are many mm -hmm. different possibilities. And I would imagine. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's just worth thinking about what we can do already. There are a lot of techniques for imaging materials, even liquids or liquid-solid interfaces. Um, but in many cases, you don't get high resolution, or you don't have good time resolution. Mm -hmm. 
So using the transmission electron microscope gives you a good mix. You, you can see, you can get very good spatial resolution. You can also get good time resolution and you can get chemical information um, and uh, information that uh, is difficult to obtain with, with other techniques. So for example, um, how electrochemical systems work, what happens at uh, an electrode when a reaction starts to happen. Um, in many uh, materials processes, something starts at one point, like a corrosion process, a pit forms, and everything goes from there. It's hard to identify that site. It's the key thing, but it's difficult to see using many techniques. So uh, the behavior of small bubbles or, the, or how fluids flow in small areas, these kinds of things can be accessed using um, electron microscopy, but not so easily with other imaging techniques. Wonderful, wonderful, and thank you for, yeah. for discussing that on, on all the levels. Dr. Yeah. Wang, I wanted to quickly ask you, you also won a, a second uh, award, the 2015 JMR Paper of the Year Award. W what led to that honor? Uh, yes, thank you, I think. Uh, I'm feel, uh, glad to receive this award, and this paper really kind of review paper summarize what's going on about this kind of uh, and C2 microscope for um, battery applications. Mm -hmm. How we can use this kind of technique and our diagnose about the battery function. Uh, that's about this paper all about, actually. Yes. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, Dr. Wang, Professor Deshange, and, and, and Dr. Ross, yes. thank you so much for joining us, uh, and congratulations once again on, on winning the award. Well, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank Great. you. Wonderful. Yeah.